Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 2nd, 2020. So yesterday we had kind of an interesting, um, well, an interesting day. We got really, really bullish in the morning. Everything was going great. We were pushed up. We had actually reversed in the Dow from the low of um, from the low of Monday to the high of Tuesday up here, we had a reversal of 800 points. We were down 400 points on Monday. We were up more than 400 points on Tuesday. And then it just kind of sputtered and failed. And something that I was talking about yesterday to be careful uh, chasing this up. So little sputter little fail and this morning we are trying to hold on here um trying to recover from overnight lows in the um futures market so what does that mean for today well how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we have a little bit of bearishness showing up in the market. We have, um, well, and let me just mention that there's going to be a little bit of a change today for me. I don't know what happened. I think it's human error today. Um, I ended up messing up the blog and I don't have time to recreate it. So there'll be no blog this morning. So if you guys have a um, go back to the blog, you don't have to do that today. It won't be there. Um, so let's take a look at um, what that price action yesterday means. Well, first off, we can see that we still have an upside trend going on here in the Dow, but we ran into that price resistance. And I talked a little bit about that yesterday, how we were just surging so much. It, it made it, um, uh, you know, just that day that was uncomfortable to chase into trades. I hope everyone heeded that warning and didn't buy up too much yesterday because they're probably going to experience a little bit of pain on that this morning. Might have been experiencing some of that pain yesterday by the close chasing those trades. So let's take a look what could happen here. Well, if we can hold in this in this wedge, we're in good shape. Um, overall trends in the Dow uh, remain bullish, but we are um, still very extended. When we take a look at, at our moving averages um, in the chart, you can see we're a long ways away still from that 50-day moving average, which means that if we do get some selling, if profit takers do come in, we could push down into maybe testing that low of uh, Monday. Um, we even have that possibility that we could slip below that and come down in here and test these levels in the chart and there's really nothing technically wrong with that and as a matter of fact we don't break any major technicals in the chart by doing that so kind of watch that closely now if those bulls do fire up if they're able to hold on to this um, we have um, this upside resistance that we'll want to respect in the chart and just kind of keep that in mind so what that means is we have uh, better than an 800 point swing area in here that we can just chop back and forth and I'll tell you, it's that chop that can really hurt a trader's account, um, just kind of getting tossed back and forth. So watch that carefully and be careful how you approach the market. You know, um, there's things on the, on the list of events today that could move us around quite a bit. And we'll talk about those in just a minute. But um, how we could really whip back and forth a, a bit in the market. So... Um, watch this really closely and don't overtrade this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, same situation, leaving behind a bit of a concerning pattern here. You know, that looks like a shooting star top to me um, in that chart. We set a new record high in the SPY yesterday, but we seem to struggle in holding onto it. Now, so far, we haven't gapped down or moved down below the support of this new breakout, but we'll want to watch that closely. That shooting star certainly doesn't give us that big warm and fuzzy here um, on the day and the fact that we gapped up leaving that open on this side of that and we're gapping down leaving it open on this side of that that actually creates that abandoned baby pattern which is a 
bearish pattern in the chart. Now that's assuming that we get follow through on this today. If we don't get follow through on that today, that abandoned baby pattern doesn't exist. If we if we bounce into here and turn right back around, it doesn't won't exist. But watch that closely. There is a little bit of hesitation here um, in that chart, and we'll want to keep an eye on it. But let's keep in mind also that there's really nothing wrong here trend wise. We're holding up very nicely in trend. We are a long ways away from that 50 day moving average. So a little bit of rest wouldn't be a big surprise in that chart. And this pattern should give you just a little bit of hesitation about racing into the market and chasing because there is some considerable risk there. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ up here made a new record closing high, held up a lot stronger than the SPY and um, the diamonds. And as you can see, just a little bit of a bearish candle here this morning trying to push down but in no way shape or form have we pushed the nasdaq down to kind of break um uh, that bullish candle that we had yesterday in the nasdaq so this is holding up very very strong but one thing i would kind of like to mention is this has become very parabolic in its move so watch that closely if we start getting some of those uh, big tech selling off a little bit that could quickly slide fast because there really isn't much support underneath this until we get back into that area so watch that carefully if this were to pull back um, could be pretty substantial in its pullback parabolic moves do make me nervous and i don't want to be chasing into those parabolic moves in the morning and let's also keep in mind that we're a long ways away from that 50-day moving average so we still have a lot of work for that to catch up here doesn't mean that it can't do it but it does mean that we could be in for a bit of volatility a little bit of back and forth in a consolidating range so watch that and then if we take a look at iwm now iwm has been incredibly strong um holding up very very well and although we pulled back yesterday we tried to get going um yesterday and pulled back we ended up holding at the end of the day we held the support of monday's low as you can see right in here and it's trying to hold up in this nice little tight consolidating pattern now this consolidation can do a couple of things uh, unfortunately it's a little bit wide in its move pretty pretty substantial price moves in there um, a little bit wide in its move but if it can hold or continue to hold in here this is exactly what we want to see we want to see a little bit of that resting pattern in here and continue that rest until we maybe catch up with that 50 day moving average and then we can really have some bullishness rather than seeing that bounce around and then breaking down but we do have that possibility that we could break down into here come back into that price support so watch that closely when we have that little tight box we have we run that potential that we could break from the upside we can break through up here we could break through the downside and it really all depends what happens with the other indexes where that influence might be so watch that close let's take a look at the vix now that VIX had an interesting thing happening yesterday. As we were climbing, we were at 400 plus points on the day and the VIX itself was moving up. So it looked like the overall market itself was kind of echoing that, that situation that I talked about yesterday morning to be careful about chasing the market because we were overextended. And as we continued to extend, that VIX was actually rising yesterday. Take a look at a 15 minute chart. We popped up in here um, real early yesterday on that move, gave it back and then turned around by the end of the day. So this is actually a 15 minute bullish pattern showing up here in that chart, trying to hold and this morning, I'm guessing that gap up is going to pay off on that little 15 minute pattern. Now, 15 minute pattern does not change anything. We're still in a downtrend overall in that chart. So I don't think there's anything here to get overly worried about, but I would be a little bit concerned if that fear does start to creep in here and we start to break back higher. Now, once again, I don't think we have any problem in this VIX chart until we break above that downtrend and maybe hold it as support or get back above that 500 and hold it as support. But we'll want to watch that closely. A little bit of fear maybe creeping into the market.
Let's take a look at T2122. And this is probably that biggest reason why I'm concerned about the extension and the overextension of this market and why yesterday's move really bothered me quite a bit as, as just a chase. Everyone tossing in, it was one of those things to inspire everybody into the market to chase in and then um, institutions kind of jerk the carpet out from under everyone. So watch this carefully. We're up here in some pretty rarefied air um, in this chart. And as you can see, um, clear up here at the top of that range. And that's really not the place we want to be um, and trying to buy long positions. We're kind of stretched out here. Now, once again, I don't want to give you guys the impression that this means that we absolutely have to just collapse in the price action. We don't. We can have a mild pullback. We could have a longer term consolidation and actually have that T2122 pull back. And that's kind of what we need. We need some rest. And by the way, you can take this indicator back as far as you want. I don't care how far you pull it back. And we can linger up here for periods of time, as you can see in these charts. We can linger up here for periods of time. We've had plenty of experience at doing that. But it eventually, it eventually always comes back to open up the space for more upside move. So keep that in mind. Um, we can ignore this for a period of time, but will, it will eventually play out for that pullback. And so I want to caution everyone to be really, really careful on this. Um, chasing in or over trading right now would be a bad idea. As a matter of fact, what I encouraged everyone in Rightway Options yesterday to do is as we were racing up, it was a great time to take profits rather than add to new trades. And as a matter of fact, I ended up... Um, taking a short trade. I put on a bear call credit spread in diamonds and just a December bear call credit spread. And at the close of yesterday, I was up 33% on that trade. So I kind of went to the other side that that big sweeping bullish move like that was not a healthy thing for the market. And that ended up playing out to be correct, at least at the moment. We'll see if that continues to hold out. I will probably be taking profits on that trade this morning. Let's take a look at our economic calendar and what we could be facing in our economic calendar today. And I mentioned some things in the news that we'll want to pay attention to. First off, we've got that ADP report this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That's that first uh, first look at some of those um, jobs numbers out there. And ADP has not been for years now, hasn't really been the report that it used to be. Um, it tends to miss a lot. But let's watch that closely. What, what they're showing right now in consensus is they're expecting a pretty big increase in um, jobs numbers. And if that does happen, that could certainly be bullish for the market. Of course, if they miss on that, or if that consensus is way off, there could be a problem. Let's also keep in mind that we have another parade of Fed speak going on today with Jerome Powell uh, back in Congress talking today at 10 a.m. So keep that in mind. We have the petroleum status report. Now, petroleum has been really, really important in helping the um, IWM and, and some, well, all the indexes lifting up just a little bit because petroleum has kind of strengthened its position a lot. We we'll want to watch that number here this morning. That could either help or hurt some of those petroleum moves. Watch that closely today. Um, with coronavirus shutting down a lot of things, it is theoretically possible that we could see um, a build in supply demand um, dropping because everyone's being ordered to kind of stay at home. So watch that closely. And then the beige, beige book later today. Now there's something in Congress that we're going to want to be paying attention today. Uh, Congress is apparently going to be voting on a bill that would require Chinese companies to um, come up to the reporting and accounting standards of U.S. companies. Now think about it. If you're a U.S. competitor and you have a set of requirements that you have to follow um, to report and um, be legitimate here in the United States, but 
a competitive Chinese company doesn't have to hold to the same standards, that's a bit of a problem. And we've seen those problems manifest themselves in, in Chinese companies really fabricating lots of data. Well, what Congress is attempting to do now, I guess, is make those Chinese companies come up and they're going to either have to, um, if they pass, they're going to either have to comply with U.S. standards or they will be delisted from the market. So we'll want to pay attention to that. If you're holding any Chinese companies, we could see some pretty amazing volatility in those depending on how that vote goes today. Watch that closely. That's supposed to happen today. And that could move things around a bit as well. So watch that. Um, if you happen to hold any of those Chinese issues. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that um, could be affected by um, earnings reports today. I'm gonna be really quick on this because I'm running out of time. Uh, take a look at like uh, DAKT. DAKT will be reporting today. We'll call and keep an eye on that. I wouldn't exactly say this is particularly notable being a $4 stock, but you know, it's on the list. Um, might want to watch that. Um, retailer five below. Now, this has been an amazing upside trend. Look at how strong this trend has been to the upside. And we've seen a lot of retail being very, very strong in these dollar stores and those kind of things. Uh, very, very strong. So five below looking good. We'll want to watch that this morning on its earnings report. Um, we'll have RY. RY will be on that list. Royal Bank of Canada. Really strong move here on these financials here recently. I kind of think a little bit parabolic as a matter of fact, and I would expect some kind of rest or pullback in those, but keep an eye on it. That earnings report can continue to inspire. Uh, PDCO. PDCO is on the list. Watch that closely pushing up here into some resistance highs, kind of a theme that we're seeing in a lot of places in the market. We're just pressing resistance, pressing resistance, pressing resistance and pressing resistance all over the place in the charts. Um, watch that closely as we continue to press that resistance. Take a look at SMPS. SMPS will be reporting today. Want to watch that one again. We're up here kind of pressing resistance. We have a bit of a head and shoulders type pattern that could be forming. So that'll be interesting. Neck the line of that head and shoulders pattern, whoops, would be right down in here. So um, depending on how that earnings report uh, plays out, if we hold up in here, we have some bullish upside potential. If we were to fail back below, that would be a problem. Um, how about SPLK? SPLK will be reporting today. A bit of a downtrend going on in here with a uptrend also on higher lows. So we have a wedge pattern, symmetrical triangle. This is one of those that can play out in both directions, pop up and move on out, break down and fail. So watch that closely um, on that earnings report. That could be critical. And last one I'm going to bring up this morning, um, ZS. You might want to keep an eye on ZS. This has kind of got that interesting pattern up here where we're trying. We've been trying and trying and trying to break out of that level. Watch that closely. It looks like um, pre-market activity is pushing that down here a little bit this morning. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stock setting up. And I did add some alerts yesterday um, into my charts. But remember, we've got a little bit of bearishness showing up here this morning. As a matter of fact, when I started this video this morning, we were only about 100 points down in the futures. We are right now at this moment 180 points down in the future. So be really careful here today. Um, and although I'm showing you some of these charts um, as setting up as bullish trades, you're going to want to be very careful on how you address them. Let's take a look. Uh, top of my list here right now is Crocs. Take a look at Crocs. There was my alert on Crocs. This is one of those beautiful trending charts. You can see I've alerted on this before. Um, we pop up, get that nice pullback, hold some price support, and there's those buyers jumping right back in. So there's Crocs looking good. Now you'll want to pay attention to this as it's trying to pop out here. We've got um, all-time highs here in Crocs trying to be challenged. Okay, we're pushing up here, trying to challenge those all-time highs, but looking very, very strong here in this price move. So watch it if it can pop on through, something worth paying attention to. Take a look at Twitter. 
Twitter holding up nice and strong here. And as you can see, picking up in that chart, we've got this nice little break of resistance here. And now we're trying to consolidate that move. So as we shift this over here toward trend, watch for that opportunity for that to perk on out and pop through. Let's take a look at BLL. I've mentioned this stock a couple of times, BLL, looking pretty good um, in this chart and doing that nice little sideways dance here on that trade. So watch that closely. Um, holding up above this level in here, we're kind of shifting sideways, just resting in here. Watch that for that next opportunity if we get that encouragement in the market for that to push on through. Johnson Controls made an attempt at this yesterday and I ended up, I looked at it pretty closely. I was thinking about buying, chose not to buy on that chart. Um, just simply because I didn't like the condition of the overall market. But notice here in Johnson Controls, we're just resting right up in this area, pushing over toward trend. So watch that closely. If we can find that inspiration, we could pop on out of there, JCI. Very nice looking pattern. Alley Financial is another. Up here pushing and testing, trying to break through. We have a nice little trend going on, trying to break through this resistance. Watch this in here. It's pushing a little bit higher this morning any elevation in this could pop that right on through and continue to extend this alley financial to the upside how about boot boot i've been mentioning boot as a possibility popping up in here getting a little bit of pullback yesterday um, if that can continue to hold in this range and slide over to the trend and i'm okay with it as long as it holds in this little support area then we could see that continue to move on higher as well now remember everyone every one of these stocks that i show you in these charts is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you have to make sure and do your own due diligence on these charts watch those closely um, let's take a look um, a chart that could get an opportunity to move here now i have a bit of a bias on this chart i do own walmart um, in fact, I've added to this trade here recently and looking very good on that position. And the reason I'm bringing it up this morning is Walmart made a decision. It's been in the news today that they are dropping the $35 requirement for free shipping um, on um, your items. So it is possible we could get a little bit of inspiration here. Right now it's showing a little bit of down. It's pushing down with the futures right now. But if we could find some bullish inspiration here today, um, notice that we've broken through this level up here and we're just kind of resting in this level up here. And I fully expect this to continue to consolidate, even pull back to uh, test this trend. Walmart really likes to move off that trend and it's usually not a big fast mover. So watch that closely in here. But if we do find that inspiration early based on that new news that they're dropping the $35 requirement, that could pop that higher. So watch it carefully. So with that, everyone, there's a few charts for you to look at to prepare for. Um, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day on this hump day. Uh, be safe out there, guys. Coronavirus numbers um, hit new records yesterday. Um, over 2,600 deaths yesterday here in the United States from coronavirus. Over 180,000 new infections. And our hospitalizations number hit a new record. States around, uh, uh, states all over the place are considering more restrictions. We're opening up field hospitals. We're doing all kinds of things out there trying to battle this. So be really careful, everyone. Protect yourselves, protect the folks around you by wearing a mask, doing everything that you can. Distance yourself from other folks. I don't wanna see um, all of you guys getting really, really sick and having trouble with this. So be really careful and be safe out there. Y'all take care, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Talk to you soon.